All right, guys, welcome back to episode two of the Mad Parrot Podcast. I'm Brad. I'm Mark. So, bro, listen, I was I was thinking about something this week, right? Let's hear it. I was sitting there. I was at work, and I was just thinking. I'm on the forklift. I wonder how Brad's doing. So I wanted to ask you, bro. Ask me. I'm ready to answer. How does it feel to know that someone out there thinks about you? <laughs> it's me. <laughs> got to be honest with him, it feels pretty good. See, bro? You're cared for, man. Well, let me ask you a question. What's up? I was at work, running my machine. I didn't think about you not one time. All right, well, shit. <laughs> so I'm just fucking with you, bro. It's okay, man. You know I'm sensitive like that. <laughs> no, but for real, man, how was your week this week? Oh, dude. Bro, like, literally, Sunday was a great day to start off, bro. It was fine, whatever. It's, you know, it, it, it's hell right now over at Amazon because... On my side of the building, it's peak for us, so we're just trying so to get seasonal in. going on, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for me, being on the oh, the sex toys coming in. Hey, bro, I've seen quite a few things come through that building already. Listen, I, I think her name was be like, specific. Listen, I think the lady's name was like Melissa Judge. She had like a like a like a thirteen inch double sided. It was white on one end, black on the other end. Oh, hey. so we're going terrifier set up. Oh, hey, dog, whatever she's doing, she's having a good time enjoying herself. Oh, she got the Beetlejuice edition. Hey, something. Beetlejuice edition. I like it. Now that we're officially out of spooky season, it's a little late for that, but. Hey, dog, it's reusable. She better not return that shit, though. Well, no, as long as you use, you know, you just flip sides. I'm, every once in a while. A little, <laughs> little bit, a little bit. Do, do a little something. Yeah, you gotta switch it up a little bit. <sighs> now, as, and now, speaking of which, you know, not to bring color into it, but is one side bigger than the other? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. One side was girthier than the okay, other. Okay, that's what I thought. I was like, continue. A... What, what else happened at work, man? Right. Holla at your boy. All right, bro. You, you, you ever come across just hating bitches, bro? Just, like, people All that the are time. just... They're so sour. They're so negative, bro. Like, no matter what they do, it's just... There's always something negative about them. I'm sitting at work, bro. I'm doing my job. You know, I'm receiving the items in, putting them in the cages and stuff, whatever. And there's this person, this lady, bro. She's just going on she's just shit talking you know the two people that i work with they're they're my work why why though so basically i guess this lady's whole thing was she was like set to go do you know she was like set to move up or whatever she was in this spot in the building where we pull things directly off of the trucks and receive them and like that was that was her jam and then i guess you know they moved one person in there you know this one guy that i work with named danny shout out to danny you, hey bro you the goat you funny um, and then, you know, there was another lady, Sophie. She's also my friend as well. Sophie, shout out to you. You the best. Um, she, I guess they both ended up replacing this lady and she just, she became very soured by things. And, you know, she's sitting there and she's talking shit about both of them. And I'm just, you know, I'm shutting up. I'm doing my job, but it, it like annoys me, bro. Cause I don't want that. that Bad vibes at work. Exactly, bro. It's like, you know, we deal with shit outside of work, man. Maybe you got car problems, relationship issues, something, and then you're supposed to come to work to, like, you know, try to get your mind off that. Because if, you know, you being negative can, outside. Can I chime in real quick? Oh, what's up? I never go to work to get my mind off stuff. Work is, like, the worst place to be. I mean, yes, you're not Let wrong. Let me ask you a question. Why do you think we're doing what we're doing right now? To not work. <sighs> Pretty much. To not work. But continue what you're saying. I see the point. No, no, I just no. wanted you to get that point. No, it, it, I mean, that's fair, though. But, like. You, you got work homies that pull up sometimes. You guys are bullshitting. Of course, of course. Exactly. And that's that's that kind of, like, camaraderie that y'all have. But this lady was just being so damn negative, bro. Oh, so basically what you're saying is, like, this lady came up talking bad to your friends. You didn't appreciate that very much, so you you, you kind of feel some type of way about it. Oh, bro, I had to I had to pull a 6 9 on some rat shit, and I just, you know, went up to the managers. HR. <laughs> got her removed. I didn't get her fired, but I got her removed. And, bro, literally the rest of that night on Sunday perfectly fine beautiful night everybody was laughing having a good time shit was fixed tuesday come across i'm sitting i'm i'm loading up the line so people can receive stuff and they're doing whatever and then you know i was i was sitting for like a second the lines went dull for a quick little bit you know slacking hardly working not doing my shit like always hardly time exactly bro hey i get paid to shit on company time um i go and then this lady makes a snide remark to you know the homie sophie and i was just like Bro, old bird box over here. She built with the damn mountain cliff for her nose, bro. 
Like, oh, <coughs> the, she so she had the Jimmy Neutron, Dog. the teacher. Yeah, what, what's her name? Oh my god, bro, oh, you you're testing like. Come on, do you want to remember her name? No, nah. I don't know her name. I know what she sounds like. Yeah, no, nah. she's always like Jimmy. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what she does. yes, bro, her, okay. bro, and she just she sat there and like she made a quick little comment and bro, I wanted to say something, but I was like, you know, I'm I'm gonna be the big person. This is the lady that was already. The- just being negative. Yeah, yeah. And I was I wanted to say something, but I was like, you know, let me let, let me just be the bigger person. Cause bro, if I add to the negativity, man, it's just not gonna do nothing. I, I, I guess I, after this whole thing, I wanted to get your opinion on how do you go about not throwing negativity into an already negative situation? Like, how is it that you be the bigger man, bro? Is it because like is it a uh, a negativity like position that you're already in or is it something you kind of put yourself in though well like you got to think that situation i just explained she was right. being mad negative and i just i wanted to go ahead and like remove her from that so you're situation. trying to neutralize pretty much bro because i i get it maybe we don't know everybody there maybe you know i know like a handful of people where i'm working by i don't know mm-hmm. everybody i'm just trying to make the the workspace a good place for everybody bro so how like how do you think you go about you know as bradley making negative situations just a little bit neutral well, I guess it depends on the situation. So if you got like two people arguing, kind of like in your situation, I honestly I do one of two things. If I'm friends with one of the people, then yeah, I'll like kind of get the scoop of what's going on. I'll talk to them and see like, oh, what's up? Especially if I know the other person too, I'll kind of ask both stories and kind of like, okay, they're adding up. So it's like, what are y'all arguing about? And then kind of like, oh, don't worry, but I just kind of like tell them both like, one of you is scared of the other, and the other one's glad of it. So. I mean, What's the point? Get back. You know, you're you're not here to make friends. Yeah, you're here to get paid and pay your bills. You know. So at the end of the day, I kind of like take take that tactic as as I go because it's kind of like, first of all, I don't want to deal with you know, people arguing and being negative all the time. Luckily for me, my job, I am isolated by myself for the most part. But it happens. You know, it does it does arise every once in a while. So I mean, I guess I mean for the most part, like you said, I either just don't get involved and remove myself because it's not it's not my business, it's not my problem. Or if I have to, you know, it's kind of like fold into me. I will try to like, like I said, I like play a, what's that called? Like the kind of like the the middleman almost. Yeah, just kind of like see what's really going on, and just tell them like, nah. I mean, y'all really are arguing over nothing, man. Just get back to work. Like you're here to make money. You're here to make money. Just get to work, you know. <clears throat> no, no one wants to be here. I just, I don't understand how some people can be so negative, bro. I mean, now if they're talking crap to you. That's a different story. Oh, you different. gotta you gotta argue with them a little bit. You can't just let them like you know shit on you. Nah, you're catching the hands like this was Superman Doomsday, bro. Exactly, it, like, it's a done deal. Yeah, it's like rated E for everyone. That's what the hands are rated. Nah, hey, bro, Dragon Ball taught me that exactly. You, you thought Goku and Vegeta were sitting there like, ooh, that's a female android? Nah, I mean Vegeta got the work because he's got a fucked up arm to this day. But I mean, hey, they're they're still doing something. Yeah, see, everybody no, no, can catch nobody's safe. Nah, <clears throat> is that it? I mean, yeah, pretty much, bro. It was just, it was. So you just had a hectic, hectic week at work, bro. It was. So just, did it drag out all week, or was it? I felt like it did, only because it went. Sunday was that initial situation where I had to go to management, and have that lady removed, and then Monday was fine. Monday was cool, was chilling, whatever. And then Tuesday came around, and she made that comment. You know, like I'm not there, like I can't see her making that comment, and it was just like, all right, bro, you're you're a bit of a skeezer. Like, get on with yourself. <laughs> <clears throat> a skeezer? Yeah. You want to elaborate on that a little bit? Uh, I kind of messed up one night. That's almost like when you eat a piece of candy and you thought it was like, like you ever played the jelly bean game? Oh, like guessing the flavors? Yeah, and it like bamboozles you. No, bean boozle? Yeah, bean, bean boozles you. And <laughs> yeah. you eat the nasty one? Nah, bro. I thought, I, I, I dead ass thought I was going to get like honey mustard. I was like, all right, this is going to be weird. It was like boogers. Dude, one time I ate shit and that wasn't even a flavor. <laughs> I was, I was trying to look at the box like, yo, where is that one at? Yeah, it turns oh. out. That, so I got rid of the hamster after that. So everybody knows. <clears throat> Instant callback to episode one. Nah, bro. You, mm. Poor guys. You know hamsters are like the most accident prone fucking creatures. Like they'll literally just die by anything. Die by anything? Yeah. Yeah, they always go in like air vents and shit when they get out and they just see you. All right, well, can't not everybody can be fucking shark bait. Hoo ha ha. All right, bro. Well, no, I'm just saying, like, when they get out, that's like, they instantly just go in crevices and get hit and smashed. I mean, 
talking about they go in some bizarre places i'm not gonna lie hey listen some bro. people use hamsters for some bizarre things too i don't know if you've ever seen that <laughs> nah, bro, have, you, like, have you bro old old old, old song eminem song fact okay. um where he was talking about put a gerbil in his ass bro. that's what i was talking about yo as a do you feel like a gerbil and a hamster are the same thing <clears throat> they're like cousins removed i'm pretty sure cousins removed dude that's like a manatee and an elephant they're related Dude, I'm so serious. We get on the animal kingdom a lot. Speaking of which, have you ever seen how bizarre it is when walruses get hungry, what they do? N- no. Can, can, we, can we pull that clip up real quick? I, just watch this clip. Is it going to be on this TV right here? Watch this. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this shit. He's hungry, so he does this. <laughs> nah. Yo. Yo he did that because he's hungry. No, bro, yo, bro. You want to know something crazy about this video? I actually filmed this this morning. That was me getting up for work. <laughs> <laughs> you know, look, I mean, the hoodie and all. I was, that was me. <clears throat> oh, bro. I mean, fair enough. I could see it. Did you find your 13th reason? Not yet. I'm on my 12th. Oh. I'm on my 12th. Work, work was right there. I was right on the edge. I mean, of glory or edge differently? We'll just go with glory for now. All right, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, bro. Yo, have you have you had a chance to uh, watch the new Five Nights at Freddy's movie? I did. Uh, okay. I did watch it. I don't understand it. I've never played the game. I've seen clips. It seems interesting, but I've never sat down and watched clips of it. But I have. I, I tried to watch the movie because I do like that actor. I don't know his name. First uh, of all, I like uh, the guy that plays Shaggy. I do like him. But it was the kid. I know him from Journey to the Center of the Earth. I don't uh, know his name. Josh Hutcherson? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I do like him as an actor. So I seen it and I knew I know what it is. But when I watched it, like I was in and out watching it. I just I I, it's I understood on, it but didn't understand it. It's on Peacock, right? Yep. I watched it. That's how that's how I saw it. Damn, yeah. Have I, you have you seen it yet? <laughs> not at all, bro. Are you going to? I mean, probably. So, I would say, why'd you ask me? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I haven't even seen it. No, well not, because I wanted to get your thoughts. Like I, I I know you're like It was it was good. It wasn't bad. I mean it wasn't what I thought it was going to be, but it was it was entertaining for what I did watch. I like I said, I didn't understand it fully. But. I just so basically like Five Nights at Freddy's got like like really really popular because of Markiplier. He's like the Keanu Reeves of the internet world. Like Angel can't touch the man. Like he just does no wrong. Good guy, but he made it super popular. Made it what it was. And I guess like the storyline that like goes through there is. Um, there was like some weird cult ritual that was done with these dudes and they ended up being the animatronics and they like killed kids and, and like took kids here and there. I'm sorry for anyone that's like a huge uh, Five Nights at Freddy's fan. I'm going off of like knowledge from when I was 10, 12 years old. I, it's been so long since I've watched any of that. Um, but that was kind of like the storyline there. I don't know if that's what that is in the movie. Again, I have not seen it yet, but I've heard... Pretty much praises across the board. It was good no, for no, what I, it was. I've heard they're 100% like planning on doing a number two. <clears throat> it wasn't bad. They ended it off. I, I, I think they could do. And I, the only thing I didn't understand when I was watching it is obviously the, the guy. I don't I don't know how they you know. Spoilers for anybody watching it that hasn't seen it, just so you guys know. Spoilers. Um, I haven't. Uh, I didn't understand at the end. They made it seem like these kids are already dead, obviously. Yeah. They control the animatronics, which I believe is the lore for the game. Yeah. But what didn't make sense to me is the dude, the, the main antagonist, the bad guy, he was still alive in a suit. But he had control over the kids. Yeah. That's what I didn't understand because it's like, okay, so then out of nowhere, these kids were able to just flip a switch and be able to turn against them because of something. But I'm like, so how do you have control in the first place? These kids know he, they it was him that killed them. So I... <sighs> I don't know if the movie took like little liberties here and there and changed things up. Like movie world, Hollywood. Yeah. Hollywood it up. But I mean, yo, that's hold on. I just got like bars vibe from that. You said Hollywooded it up. Yeah, Hollywooded it up. Oh my God, bro. Talk Drop about dropping an album soon. Hey, check bro. it out. Hey, catch a freaking contract, bro. Hollywooded it up. I'm, I'm gonna stick to the podcast. So like I'm better at this. I ain't got <clears throat> bars. I mean, hey, look, if something happens, something happens. Look. If someone can make a song about what foxes say and some little Hispanic dude from, like, 10 years can, like, 
jiggle his junk on the internet and make like 10 million views. What are you talking What a, is that? That's a thing on YouTube. You can go look what it up. What is it? it, it it's is that Gungam style? No, man. He's Korean. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's Korean, kidding. bro. Um, but nah, I mean, bro, you can make music about anything. Hell, we got somebody going around talking about Coochie Pink Booty Hole Brown. There's a there's an audience and market for absolutely everything. everything. I mean, look, we're talking about a bunch of random shit, and I'm sure somebody's gonna watch this. Hey, you think this is like glorious? No, look, man. Seriously, watch it though. It's pretty good. It's pretty entertaining. It's Dude. stuff you're never gonna. This is really you know when girls think like, oh, I bet they're out cheating, and we're over here talking about what flavor is your favorite pop tart. That's the real conversations we're having. So any girl out there think that they're cheating, this is probably what they're doing. I this, mean, this is the exact conversation they're having. But actually, to all the dudes, what is your flavor favor of Pop Tart? I feel like I just messed that up. The I, flavor I, flavor that's pretty good. Cool. Bars, bro. Dude, I'm, it's gonna happen. Flavor flavor. It's gonna. <laughs> that's happen. your rap name. Flavor not flavor see, flavor. That mm, it's too close to you know flavor flavor though. Yeah, you know he he did. What the would whole, be your rap name? <sighs> I, curly, look curly, mm, look curly. Nah, you look more like a bent twig to me. You'd be. You'd be walrus. That's just you. Walrus? Well, I mean, that yeah. was me in the video earlier. That, that's. I mean, oh, I, I, shit, look, bro. Look, look, callback. Instant callback. Hey, bro, look. You'd Instant be, callback. Look at look. my dude. My hoodie matches and everything. I, this is the same skin. No, bro. Your name would be Big Tusk. That's you, dog. That's a fire name. Big bro. Tusk, Big bro. Tusk. Big that's Tusk. Big Tusk. <laughs> that's you. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, we got to come up with a cool name for you, though. <sighs> Slim Dunham? Nah. <laughs> Denim, yeah, <laughs> that's a fire name because the hoodie, bro. I like it. Oh, shit. slim denim, yeah, bro. Dude, slim denim, the <clears throat> DJ, slim denim. On the track. <laughs> oh man, bro, maybe in another <laughs> life, dude. Another You're already life, doing it. already living the life. Um, no, nah, hey, that's something I actually want to talk to you about, bro. Is like slim denim. <laughs> Never mind. I, I was going to try something. Never mind. No, just move on to the next subject. What was it? What were you going to say? <laughs> nah, bro. I was going to ask you, like, what What are your thoughts on, like, take us, for example, bro. We're just, we're, we're, we're going out on a limb. We're doing our thing, man. And you got to think, anyone that's made it big. Are, are you talking about, like, what we're doing right now? Yeah, like yeah. Podcast? Yeah, bro. Okay. You got to think, anybody that's taking that risk to make it big, doing podcasts, music, whatever. First of all, just let's just stop right there. Not doing it to make it big, bro. We're doing it to enjoy ourselves. We're just having fun. Well, I didn't mean it like that. I mean, no, no, like, I know. I just for anybody out there listening, this is all just for fun, you know. I mean, it's it's just more so like, you know, you, you never know what somebody's going through. So here come you and I, two random fucking nobodies. Oh, that, that's gonna have an impact on me a lot because I'm sure at some point, well, people will get comments that you guys maybe not saved lives, but you know, I was in a dark place and you guys brought me up. I, I would love to see that kind of stuff. Oh, bro, see, that is another thing that I would love. To come out of this for sure, and I like a hundred and ten percent agree. But I feel like we're gonna be the guys that someone comments taking a mad fucking raw dog dookie right now. You guys made me laugh. Eked out that turd. LOL. Eked out that turd. Well, what about your situation? That's like a constant thing, though. Oh, yeah, bro, it's so annoying, dude. Because it's not even dingleberries, man. It's just like a you're sitting there, and sometimes you could be a little gassy. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, bro, I <laughs> ran a. I ran this man it. just had like drunk like the dude the, the bubbliest sprite he's ever had in this life. I ran a dude out of the bathroom at work this week. You ran him out? How? Bro, so I'm like, okay. So like I I get really gassy because like you see you can't control dude, when your you go. insides have gotta be like decaying. I mean, it, it it's like on a serious note, it's it's a constant losing battle, bro. Like there's no cure for UC. And sure, yes, there are people that, you know, they're able to make it with the colostomy bags. And then, you know, some people are able to get surgeries and they can have their insides redone and stuff. But it's like, if you really think about it, yes, you won in a way, but you kind of didn't win. Because regardless, bro, it, it's an illness that just constantly eats at you. And it's it's really messed up. And like, yes, there's other forms of IBD, like Crohn's, all these other things. But it's like, unfortunately, unless you have UC, which is like, for lack of a better term, it's like the top of the worst you could possibly get when it comes to IBD. It's like, bro, you you genuinely can't control. I could be sitting for an hour or two hours with family, playing games, whatever. But the moment I got to get up, bro, I have to go. There's like I, I can hold it for a tiny bit, bro. But 
it kind of sucks because sometimes if you hold it, you could incur blood loss and other things. And it just, it sucks, bro. It, it genuinely does. So like anyone out there that goes through this, you know, big props to all of you. Hella fucking respect because it is, it's genuinely something. Yes, I've had it for two years now, but it's like, it's still something that I struggle with sometimes. Cause it's like, I'm trying to enjoy myself or I'll be out with friends or something and I'll have to get up to go to the bathroom. Like perfect example. I was out with one of my friends and my brother and we were watching the 10 year anniversary of a Dragon Ball movie. And I've seen the movie hundreds of times, but I had to get up halfway through the movie just because, hey, I got to go. I, I can't control it, bro. And I was gone for about 15, 20 minutes. I missed Vegeta going off on Beerus. I'm I'm still sad about that. It's easily top 10 Vegeta moment right there. Instant call back. Go ahead. Show the walrus again. <clears throat> <laughs> a this big, is what he was doing when he went to the bathroom. A big tusk. Trying to hold his stomach. No, 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 no. This is how it felt when I was finally relieved. So that was the turd rolling on the side of the, the toilet. It it, it kind of doesn't even roll on the side, bro. It no, just... it's more of like a waterfall. But seriously, that was me this morning. This video was taken this morning. I mean, I, I could see it, but you kind of have tile flooring. That's, that's a little hard. The pa- pause, pause, pause. 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 Hard pause. <laughs> but you know, at the end of the day, it's just a construct. It doesn't exist. No, it doesn't. If, if you really think about it, a floor is just a floor. But is it really there? Or is it the matrix? Because sometimes, sometimes, there there's a science theory, bro. There's a science theory that states... The floor is actually the ceiling. No. Inception. Could be. Hey, shout out to Harry Styles. He's got a fucking, he's got an album cover that's like, it's a house, but it's all upside down. So the couch and everything's you on know, the roof. That, that sounds to me like you completely ripped that off of uh, Cabin in the Woods. I mean, hey, Cabin in the Woods did it too. Bro, there's a genuine theory where like, it's like a point something zeros, 1% chance where like, if you slam your hand through a table, your hand will go perfectly through the table. I'm so serious with so you, like bro. So, like, the atoms in your hands are just break yes, apart. Yes, yes. Oh, my God, bro. That's, that's actually like what it, Okay, listen. If we could all be the Flash, I don't think there would be a nearly as many pregnancy scares as there could be because we'd just be in and out. But that's not the point. That's um, a good place. Have you ever had that? Wait, what? In-N-Out Burger. Oh, In-N-Out. <laughs> yeah, In-N-Out Burger. I was like, what? Uh, No. Have you had what a burger? Uh, No, I have not. See, we're, we're on the opposite ends. Okay. Well... To be fair, In and Out Burger is like out west. Yeah, that's a West Coast thing, bro. It was good though when I was out there. When I was out in Cali. That was that shit probably cost you at least a mortgage just to get that. No, nah, actually, it was pretty. It's it's like a McDonald's there almost. I just, I but it's like, fire. I, I feel fire. like I feel like West Coast anything is just super expensive. Well, to bro. live to live out there, it is. To live out there, it really is like. Well, I had a friend one time tell me when she was in the military, she went to go get like a burrito, bro, and it was like fifteen we, bucks. We, we, yeah, like because they like loaded up. <sighs> That's just it's, it's expensive out there. When I was out there, which I don't live there, I was visiting. But it's I could definitely tell living there in Cali, it, it would be it'd be rough, definitely be rough. I bro, that's just it, it would also it actually would be really rough for you, you and old old Scatty Patty outside California. Yeah, because there's California laws, man. I can't even have that car there. No, bro. I mean, I can, but I, they'd want me to go do all kinds of shit to it. No, nah, bro, that's like Hyundai having to tell state of California. Good, do you do you know if um. The uh, is that county or is that statewide? No, that is that is statewide throughout all of California. When I was there, there was a Mustang that drove past me, and he was you could tell he had it hooked up to like be loud, and he so, just revving it up. So no basically, problem. the one thing that I found is it's certain counties take it more like serious than others, but the only other thing that I found is like that. It was a video from like either earlier this year, late last year, whatever, where this cop pulled over this dude for the new Hyundai Elantra, and it comes. Stock loud as hell. It's their souped up version of the Elantra, whatever. But the exhaust is really loud for that little car. <clears throat> Cop basically told the guy, you got to take it back to the dealership if it's stock, this and that. Hyundai had to tell the state of California and like make it a public announcement. I think I've seen that. I think I've seen that. It's like, bro, this is how our cars come. We're not going to take they, it they off. They had to send a letter in to the, to the state or the county, right? Yeah. Or something like that. The other thing that I found is like, you, you ever been down to the... um. To the, uh, well, it's not called the Orlando Eye anymore. Icon Park, Big Ferris Wheel. Mm-hmm. They a few they changed years, the name? Yeah, bro. That was a whole, the original company used to be Merlin Entertainment. Oh, I didn't know they changed and, companies. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they, they basically, like, whenever they had, like, the Batmobile out there from, like, Ben Affleck's Batman and stuff like that, or, like. Didn't know they had that. 
Yeah. That was it was fucking awesome. Yeah, like I ain't been out there in forever. Um, but like whenever you have like those movie vehicles and stuff like that, you have to have like special licensing unless it's hooked up on the back of a trailer or something. But like you could go in California and say that your car is like a show car for stuff like SEMA or other big car shows, or maybe there's like a little organized thing. You could say that it's like a show car only, and that's why you're driving it. That's how a lot of people actually get away with having like Skylines and Supras before they obviously became all like states legal and stuff. But well, an R thirty four isn't legal still. It's not, but and either, I don't think an S fifteen <clears throat> is either. The Sylvias aren't at least the S fifteens, but the um the GTS models for Skylines those are across the board all legal. I don't, I don't mean to like call you out, but did you say Supra? Yeah, you, you know Supras are legal. Here. There's there was certain body modifications that were done on Supras that that's a body. I mean, there's, it has a two J <coughs> motor, it'd be fine. Yes, but there's certain body modifications that were done at the time where U.S. Uh, enforcement was not able to tell what kind of a car it was, and so it's like unless you can physically that's just an uneducated person. That's not their fault. <coughs> like who we're hiring. Hey, look, bro. All my Fast and Furious people out there, listen, respect to the seventh movie should have ended at five. We all know our cars, all right? We we know what's what. We know what's good. But to the uneducated eye, not everybody grew up watching Fast and Furious. And I feel bad for the kids nowadays that are growing up watching them because for those of us that have not watched Fast X, you're kind of late, bro. You should definitely get on that. If not, you're not missing much. Vin Diesel's definitely dying, bro. There's no way he survives that waterfall. Vin Diesel's not going to die. He's got the power of family. I, <laughs> dude, I'm telling uh, you. Listen, he is going to literally sit there. The water's going to come down. He's going to turn around, look at Aquaman, and say, I have family, and the water's going to part ways. I, he's going to Moses it. He's no, going to Moses bro, it. Bro, liter- no. I'm, I'm telling you, Jason Momoa's character is a plant. That's actually Aquaman. It's a DC crossover, bro. Yeah, he's going to take a spear, slam it. Done. Done right End, end there. of the movie. They're that- friends. Uh, first of all, Jason Momoa did an amazing job. He is the top, like, one villain that no, Fast and Furious has ever genuinely, had. Genuinely, like, do you know how he is? Like, Entertaining. Out, do you know how he is, like, outside of movies and stuff? Like, I IRL? He's a pretty, pretty good guy. Bro, he's so chill, but, like, he has, like, the, like, most fun when it uh, workout regiment when it comes to working out and, like, getting in shape. His, his whole thing is, like, he won't, like, get in shape unless people pay him to do so, right? So, like, when he oh. did Aquaman... He got paid, you know, to be in shape, whatever. But his whole thing is, like, he will tailor his workouts around Guinness. Guinness is his jam, bro. Like, he can't go without a pint. So, like, he tailors his whole diet and everything around that beer because that is his thing. He won't go without it. And I think that's dope as shit, bro. So, like, my thing. I can't live without Coke, bro. That sounded wrong. Pause. Um, Definitely not like that. We need to get a... uh intervention in here guys <clears throat> not not like that talking about the stuff in the can the modern day recipe not the old one he's um, talking about the plant he's talking about the plant don't let him lie to you i love soda soda is my weakness bro so like is it fizzy bubbly dude dude the zohan is such <clears throat> a great movie i mean if, if you could kick people with your feet bro at the same time while you're like doing other things other things um damn call me tony two times bro um, slim denim. Hey, hey. slim denim. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't you want to defend yourself like that too, bro? Like, like have like a, a double kick to the face, like be able to keep you with both feet, like, like to the face. <laughs> hey, Dude, my yo. knees just got like stiff, bro. Like, like my knees locked. No, nah, bro, you you sit in the motorized machine all day. Your knees are used to this, dude. You, you go to so, this, bro. Dude, my back hurts so bad. For anybody out there that does construction, you know what I'm talking about. When you run those machines, a dozer and everything, it's it's not bad because when you're you're grading, it's flat. But those tracks vibrate all they do my kidneys hurt all the time. Is it and oh, it's my lower back kills. So for like me, right? Cause the, for, the, for you or meat? T Rex meat. T Rex meat. Um It's a construct. <laughs> didn't happen. Um no, I'm saying, like, for me, right? Because, like, how you're describing that, it kind of sounds like I love getting tattoos, bro. It's, like, the most relaxing I love time. Tattoos. But it's, like, a tattoo, like, the funny way that I describe it is, like, it's kind of like a Mr. Popular. Um, shout out to The weekend. Um, It's kind of like, it feels like a, 
like a massage that goes on for way too long, bro. Is that, is that how it feels for you? Because like, it, no, 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 bro. It's like okay, it just depends on what machine you're in, man. Like for me, like I said, I run I run a GPS dozer, but dude, if there's like a windrow, do you know what that is? Absolutely not. Okay, so windrow is when you're when you're pushing dirt and dirt falls off the side of the blade, it has like a little like a hump of dirt. That's a windrow. So when you're going, if you're backing up or even going forward and you don't pay attention to see it and you like track up and slam and it like it jolts your back and it like hurts so bad, like your nerves get all hurt, dude. It's bad. Mm. All right. So what you're saying is it's a construct. Because if you think about it, pain is just weakness leaving the body. You're literally getting stronger. That's character development. No, because if that was the case, my back wouldn't hurt 24-7 even when I'm at home. Bruce Wayne wouldn't be the man he was if any one of his parents lived. I want us to all just recognize this right now, okay? We we, we need some pain, all right? It's like it's like that movie. Oh, so pain, pain grows the strength. Exactly, bro. Saying. Literally, like, think about so it. You're, so your UC is making you stronger. I mean, there's days where, like... I don't know about anyone else that has, but, like, there's days where, like, when I'm, like, let's say maybe I have to go and, like, I can feel the onset. If I get angry or, like, I'm unloading from a truck, like, I'll just get angry and just, like, start tossing boxes a little bit. And, like, it kind of almost, like, overrides everything else in the brain that, like, in that moment in time, I'm just. So you can shut it off. Pretty much, but not everybody could do that. I'm built different. Incorrectly, actually. Um, he's talking about his mental state. For anybody asking, he's. Not all the way there. I mean, are we all really? He's got though? some damage. Are are we all really though? Yo, so did you read that story? This is about like you know defects. The two guys that were born, they're like Siamese twins. They're like attached. And uh, one of them, I mean, I, I know about the no two offense, girls. No offense to anybody. One of the guys is homosexual, but the other one's not. Do Do they share a, a thingy majig together? But could you imagine if like, let's say you were born like that and. Your brother was gay, but no, no, but you shared a butt. (laughs) No, (laughs) no. Wait. Okay. 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 See this, this is actually like a really cool science thing though. Like, but what if he didn't have feeling, but you did. So I mean, think about it, but so he's looking at you like, don't piss me off. Or else you're going to pay for it. (laughs) No. Oh, bro. Oh my God. And like, cause you're like, dude, this is ridiculous. That's just, that's, this is just hate. No, nah, because he'll he'll be sitting there that, like this. To me, is an act of war. He'll he'll just be sitting there like this in the camera, you know the the why life. Is, why the is life there a camera, camera. It, bro? It's why like why is there a camera? You ever seen Friday like Ice Cube? Whenever he would just stare at the camera, I, I'm pretty third I'm pre- wall. He's he's breaking the fourth wall. I'm pre- third wall. Hold on now. Fourth wall. I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we all do that. Like we'll have moments where like someone oh, says yeah, something. Be like <laughs> someone says something stupid, and you just sit there and you're like, excuse me. <laughs> like, no, it's just- <laughs> like, <laughs> like repeat yourself real quick like I, I feel like we all have those moments bro i'd say i'd say okay if you could pick a moment that was like your what for this week like what what would that be bro <sighs> so if i could pick one that i was sitting i was just like what <laughs> um so what is it gonna be like work movies bro literally anything. I, mine was at mcdonald's i'm trying to get mcdonald's before work because you literally like it's it's right there by where I work. I'm sitting there. I get, uh, hey bro, you put me onto the triple cheeseburger, hey, bro. Those, I told you, bro, that's fire. Hey, I didn't know that those exist. I know that sounds so stupid. I did not know the triple cheeseburgers existed until you fucking told me about them, bro. Like I was on the the McDouble or whatever. I get a triple cheeseburger, mac sauce, lettuce and cheese only. Fire combination. Yo, so how does that work if you have UC? Don't it doesn't pickle mess with your stomach? So there's because that's in max sauce now. There's certain leeways that I have that my doctors told me, like, you know, a lot of his patients are older people, elderly people. I'm his youngest patient, but he has people that are in their 30s and 40s. I can't have too much protein at one time. So like steak for me, unfortunately, is a bye bye. Like it's a red meat. Steak has way too much protein in it. And I just it literally if I have steak bathroom 15 minutes later. Um, he told me, you know, dairy is another thing that like, you're going to have to watch whatever, but I've come to know over the last two years, I have a little more leeway with caught that. Um, I've God, dairy. Um, I have a little more leeway with it when, when it comes to my body. Um, Maine, 
Uh, damn, yo, bars, ad libs, bro. Bars, dude. Ad libs. Slim denim. Slim denim. And big tusk, bro. Dude. Hey, dude, we need to work on that. Um, yeah, that's gonna be a good. It's gonna be a good collab album eventually. That's gotta be the episode title. Come <laughs> on, big tusk or slim denim? Both. <laughs> We'll go with that. Bro, The Adventures of Big Tusk and Slim Denim, a comic book. Yeah. Bro, Bro, we're on comic it! Book, comic book. <laughs> yeah. oh. um, That's the comic book cover. Bro, yeah. That's like a little icon to us. It's like Marvel with the M. It's like, like up in the corner? That's it. Bro, that's Bro, it. Bring, hey, we copyright it. Copyright it. I already paid it. I already paid for it. I think. I don't know how that works. Wait, we have to explain it to this. <laughs> That's true. I'm not a scientist. I don't, I don't know how that shit works. I was never good at math. <laughs> Yo, two plus two? Four. Four plus four? Eight. Eight plus eight? Man, why are you trying to put me on the spot, man? You're getting a little too advanced, right? <laughs> I told you I was never good at reading. Why is six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. But did it feel good? Did we ask nine how good it was to get eight by seven? <laughs> That's a good question. Exactly. But how does it feel to get eight by a ten? A ten, but like how 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 good of a ten? How bad of a ten? Like ten, you need a support blanket, or ten, you still sleep with the nightlight on. Mm. You need a snuggie, bro. You gotta think that'd probably be like lit, bro. Like your bur- whoever it is that you're burning is burning calories at the same time, so fitness is in check. Meanwhile, they can fitness in other places. Ooh. You know, that's a that's like a bad you know con you know. Kind of situation though, if it could, you know, fit like a hot dog down the hallway, you, that ten's been, you know, multiplied a couple of times. Well, that are are, are how, how many how how many hot dogs are we talking? Because because bro, if if like you're the glizzy gladiator and you're doing like quadruple shaboing boings, bro, you gotta go quadruple shaboing boings, bro. You you've not seen that video? Mm-mm. There's this dude that literally he just like a regular size hot dog bun and just piles on. Like four fucking shaboing boings and just downs what, it. At what one is a time. shaboing boing? You're completely <laughs> rolling past the name. I don't know what bro, that is. Bro, okay, so is it a condiment? Is it no garnish? I don't know. You like to talk about garnishes and it, it, bro, buddies. bro. It's a hot dog. People, I know what a hot dog. The is. internet has taken to calling hot dogs shaboing boings, and it's funny. So it basically went from hot dogs to a glizzy. glizzy. To a shaboing boing. Yeah, bro. That's bro, pretty that, fire name. Why bro. can't we just do the, the intro like that? We can never time it. But we can talk about shaboing boing at the same time. Bro, it has to be a just off the dome kind of thing. Slim denim. Come on, bro. Slim Dude, denim. I'm definitely like slim denim on the beat. No, you got to do the DJ thing. Slim denim do on do the do beat. Do do do. DJ slim denim. <laughs> Coming in hot. Tusk. <laughs> Nah, hey, iced out, fresh out the water, drip, drip, big tusk. <laughs> bro, this, oh my God, it just hit me. This is really how guys are, bro. Dude, dude that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> We're not cheating. We're just having a good time. Bro, like, you ever just sit there and, like, back in the COVID days, you're playing Warzone with the boys, and, like, you guys are trying to go for the dub, and then, like, you, I hate that game, man. Bro, it, it, its quality has gone down. I haven't played it since Verdansk. I dude, I haven't played Call of Duty. Ever since they bombed my hometown. Shout out Verdansk. <laughs> Ever since they blew out the dam, you know. R.I.P. to the crew. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, bro. R.I.P. Like, to my boy, you know, Spig. Um, no one knows where he went. Dude. It wasn't in the script. Yeah, it wasn't in the script. <laughs> <laughs> um Bro, that's so heartbreaking. Like actually, like you ever had those people that like you meet online, bro, through a game and it wasn't on some EDP type stuff and like that, that 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 was the big dude that was like trying to talk to little kids. Um, oh oh oh, what's this? Huh? Oh what's yeah, this? yeah yeah the, the what's this? Yeah 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 yeah. yeah not nah, him. Uh, when when you meet people on games that are of the in your age range variety, yeah, Roblox. Yeah. Uh, whoa. <laughs> Lock his ass up. Lock his ass up. <laughs> nah, bro. But like, you meet those people online, bro, and it's like you're having a good time, and then all of a sudden, like. I think it's so sad, bro, when, like, you don't know it's the last time that, like, either one of you logs on the game. Because, like, maybe life gets to somebody or they're doing different things and y'all just don't play the game no more. That's, like, a... I feel like there's a lot of things that's heartbreaking for that. They're, like, you don't know when the last time is going to be with somebody. That's why, like, this is a perfect, like, thing. I'm glad you brought that up because, for me, I I don't argue with people, especially with someone I care about. You know what I mean? Like, I don't don't like arguing with people. I will if I don't... You know, if it's someone that's coming at me a different type of way, but, like, typically, like, friends and stuff like that, 
Um, I don't really like to argue with people because you don't know when the last conversation is going to be, and you don't know well, how like, it's going to end. Even you and I, bro, we've had moments where, like, I'll disappear for a little bit, and you'll try reaching out to me, and sometimes I'll just read it and not respond, but it's like, I was going through stuff, wow. but, like... What a fucking dick. <clears throat> hey, we're, hey, we're still here, right? We are still here because our bond is stronger than peanut butter and jelly. You know, I've never opened your message and ignored you on purpose. That was the point I was trying to get to. It's like, I'm going through something, and eventually I'll just, like, tell you what I was going through, bro. And you've never once come at me sideways, bro. Like, the good, kind-hearted person you are, bro, you've never come at me sideways for it. You've read it. You've listened. and Not to his face. And <laughs> For the audience out there, not to his face. You never go at him sideways to their face. You talk shit to the phone, and then you text them nicely. Oh, I thought you meant you've never come at my face. That's... Never mind. Um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a chin kind of guy. <laughs> hey, you got to take it on the chin, champ. <laughs> but like, take it on the chin and keep on moving. Bro, you've never once, like, been out of pocket in any way. You've always been understanding. Your, your whole thing has always been like, bro, you know you can talk to me. Like, there's no issue here. No judging. Like, you're always going to be that good, kind-hearted dude. And I feel like I feel like that's a big... It's, it's a rare thing, bro. I, I really do feel like I'm not trying to brag. I feel like the way I am sometimes, and even you, bro, I feel like it's really rare to find people that are like that. Because some people don't really think... They, they just act on their emotions. And I feel like sometimes you don't put into consideration, you know, for for instance, like, was it, I think it was three years ago. I don't think the conversation I had with my dad was bad the last time we talked before it happened. But, you know, I, who know it could have been, you know. And luckily for me... He, he ended up, you know, pulling through his accident, but he was in a motorcycle accident, just, just like my brother. He was also in a motorcycle accident. And I was at Universal with a buddy of mine, and that was the phone call I got. I didn't argue with my dad when I left, but you never know when those phone calls are going to come through. You know, I, my dad was in a hospital for like a week and a half in the ICU. They didn't know if he was going to make it, you know, but in my last conversation, I don't even remember what it was. I, I don't believe it was bad. But the thing is, like, you know, you argue with people, and me personally, if you have an argument with somebody— that argument needs to be squashed right then and there, bro. I think that whole mentality of never let your ne never let your partner or you go to bed on a bad note, bro. I think you can apply that to friendship, everything. like literally everything. everything Relationship, bro. girlfriend, boyfriend, <clears throat> anybody can use that. Like eat, bro. Sometimes I think, like, dude, that friendship that you've had for so long, man. Like, maybe you know someone's going through something. And they came off at you sideways. Instead of getting mad, take you know taking a bag. You just let me give them some space. Let me let me, let me talk to them this way. Let them know that like you're trying to help. Because again, bro, you never fucking know when those things are gonna happen, bro. I remember you, you really don't know when someone's going through something. You know what I mean? Like you don't know what kind of stress they're under. You don't know what they got going on. It's just like you know, it's just how it goes sometimes. That's why anytime I ever had any kind of like disagreement, whether it was with a girl, with a friend, anybody, I've always tried to like. And people, some people think like it's like, oh, you're just soft. No, I'm not soft. I mean, I don't know when the last time this this could be our last conversation. You don't know how would you feel if the last thing you said to me was what you just said, and you get a phone call tomorrow. Oh, he's in the hospital on his way home from talking to you. You got into a car accident, and the last thing you said was whatever the foul thing was. So I'm always nice that the, the last thing I say to anybody, even if they were shitting on me or I was shitting on them, the last thing I always say is something positive, so they cannot go back and say, oh, he was. The last conversation we had was negative. I will never do that to anybody. Relationship, friendship, family. I always try to leave it off on a good note because you never, you're, you're the bottom line is you're never promised. You know, who told you you were going to wake up today? Nobody promised you were going to make it home. Exactly, bro. There's an example I saw somebody was at construction and they were arguing with their girl. And he, there's an older gentleman that he was talking to. And he goes, Oh man, I don't know, do me and my girl are arguing this, this, and that. And he's like, oh, what happened? So he explained the situation. That, that's irrelevant. The thing is, they're arguing. And he goes, I'll just talk to her and solve it when I get home. And the old man goes, who promised you that? He's like, well, what do you mean? He was like, who promised you you were going to make it home? And he goes, well, nobody. Exactly. So you need to call her and solve it now because you're never promised to make it home from work. You're never promised the next day. You don't know what's going to happen in the next hour. Anything is possible. People die in seconds. And they, did, they were just perfectly fine. Bro, see, happens I, every day. I feel I feel like that's that's a lot of shit that like people overlook, bro. It's and like, to today's <clears throat> society, people like completely overlook that. They do not think about that one bit. And to me, it's like that's a big deal, you know. I I think like a lot of people have gotten so hooked up on the whole 
A lot of people are disconnected. Yeah, it's like you're 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 trying to you know oh I want to be this way I want to be this way or it's you know there's the whole you know dissection of females got to be this way and dudes got to be this way and somewhere along the lines this year you know you got dudes talking about women's weight because women were talking about dudes heights and this and that and it's like bro if that's how like shallow and petty you're gonna be mentally you shouldn't even be in those conversations you need to be working on yourself but for those people that are there like you're either high school sweethearts you met on a job site a random coffee shop encounter whatever and like these are your people now you got a whole family like bro you got to work on those things no matter what it is if you're a single dad and you're coming into a woman's life and she's also a single mom. Like y'all got to respect, yo, there's a past there. There's another person out there. Yep. You know, these kids got another parent outside of me and I'm their parent by relation now. Like, bro, you got to work on those things. You got to fix them. And somewhere along the lines, like, I think it, it's a maturity <clears throat> thing. Right? It's a respect thing. A lot of people have lost that. I lost a lot of people have lost the way. Oh, for sure. Of respect, maturity and doing what the right thing is. Oh, bro. I, it, it's like, even today, I feel like, for whatever reason, when you and I were talking, bro, nobody buys flowers anymore. Nobody, uh, I since when was it a bad thing to like that that story from like two three weeks ago? Since when was a bad thing to go take somebody on a date to? Yeah, sure, it's the damn cheesecake factory, whatever. But it's oh, like, I've seen that online. What, but when was it a bad idea to just take someone on a date? That's, like, it's a je- people are so materialistic now. It's it's never about the gesture anymore. I, I the gesture has completely gone out the window. It's the thought. They don't even care about that. It's like, oh, you couldn't bring me to Ruth Chris. You brought me to Cheesecake Factory. First of all, Ruth Chris ain't got nowhere near the menu as Cheesecake Factory. Let's get that out of the way. Hey, hold, hold up. Shout out to Cheesecake Factory. Uh, those Best fried... cheesecake I've ever had. Nah, bro. The fried mac and cheese. I'll your boy. Me a free coupon. Fries, mac and cheese. Oh, fries, mac and cheese. I mean, their fries, mac and cheese is good, but the fried mac and cheese balls, bro. Oh, my God. That's like fire dude i was like dude, you turned so white when you just said that uh, saw dude. hey hold on hold on saw it dude. <laughs> dude where's the blow <laughs> <laughs> i mean i'm saying bro like dude i i okay my whole uc thing i gotta watch fried foods bro right. so like hugh and magoos i'm always gonna have that. fire I, i'll be in the hospital for some hugh and magoos best chicken that <laughs> i've ever had bro if anyone tells me that there's better chicken out there, I'm willing to die on this hill, and we will verbally go one-to-one. Keep in mind, it's about chicken, nothing else outside of chicken. If you tell me there's a better place that has better chicken, we're fighting, bro. It's not possible. Gordon Ramsay, I'm open for debates. Um, <laughs> this is an owl politic with you about chicken. Bro, he's always on about some, where's the Wellington sauce? Son. <laughs> Have you had Hugh and Magoo's <laughs> tossed in garlic parmesan with a side of Magoo sauce? I don't think you have, bro. It's a different realm of flavor. Shout out to Guy Fieri, Flavor Town. <laughs> Done. It's a construct. No, did you know that there's actually a town in America called Flavor Town? Yeah, they need to put that in Fortnite. Th- that's what Tomato Town is for? There you bro, go. speaking of, you saw we're going OG back to map. season one, OG bro. Map. Hey, shout out to Tilted Towers. Hey, anyone hears me and finds me and they think that it's me, bro, I'm willing to go one-to-one, Tilted Towers, top of the like the little bell tower. We'll break it apart. 1v1 me over some chicken, bro. It's happening. Uh, dude, I will defend Huey Magoo's like, with you know, my Huey life. Huey Magoo's is like, a good place. The cookies aren't all that, but the chicken tenders are. Bro, the banana immaculate. pudding? It, bro, the banana pudding would wake up a dead person. I'm sorry. Bro. You can get three questions out of them. You put that banana pudding in front of them. Nah, bro. It's like that scene out of Hellboy. Oh, no, no, no. Blade, where they dropped a little bit of blood on the vampire's chest and it just suddenly wakes up again. You drop that little piece of banana pudding somewhere, dude, um, waking on. up. I, are you sure you're not talking about Doom? Nah. And they put the brain matter on the tongue. Nah. It does the same thing, so. I mean, yeah, but is it as good as banana pudding from Huey Magoo's? Listen, <laughs> Huey Magoo's, shout out. I'm trying to get the chicken sponsorship, bro. Like, I... I'll get a Dude, fu- sh- Speaking of which, I want to shout out, you know, Dr. Squatch. I love that soap, and I really feel like they should sponsor us. I'm just saying, bro. Bro, you I have a, it's a great no, soap. Do you do soap. you remember like how small beginning they were? Where yeah, it, just like you barely saw him on the UFC and stuff. It, it was the dude with the majestic hair, and then you had the yeah. other guy, and he was all just like, oh, like this is to your balls. And then you did, like with the what with the liquid. What were you just doing? <laughs> do it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was that? The, so were you like holding the balls and playing with the shaft? Is that what that was? Do it again. It was an Atari. Show the camera. Do that again. It was an Atari joystick. No, it was not. That's not what that is. 
I was I, I was pressing the. You said, Mr. Producer, back there. Did he not say balls? Mm, he did. That was not an Atari joystick. We were off the video game subject. Well, speaking think- of which, we're talking about video games. <laughs> the pyramid, the pyramids in Fortnite. Did, it made me think about it. Do you think that aliens helped build the pyramids? Are we talking about in Fortnite? No, no, no. Real life. I just I was thinking of the pyramids and the thing. It made me think of the Egyptian <clears throat> pyramids. Um, I watched the Mummy. All right, listen, bro. Great movie, Brandon Fraser. I would not be upset if he came back for another one. Hey, nah. Hey, look, look, look. Hey, if it ain't broke, bro, don't, don't fix, fix it. it. Shout out to Tom Cruise. You done fucked it, buddy. It's not his like, fault. He's a vampire. I, mm, he I'm, actually did play. He played an interview with a vampire. Amazing movie. Uh, speaking of vampires, Dracula Untold, Luke Evans, fire movie. The community at large responsible for letting that flop? L, bro, that movie is, that's one of those movies, bro, I could watch back to back on some Drake type business. Like, bro. If you're reading this, it's too late. But how could they be reading this if there's no trend? We should. Slim denim. We should. Mm. Slim denim. Yo. What, what was mine again? Something tusk? You're big tusk, dog. Big tusk. That's an easy C- one, too. That's come on, you but big no, seriously, tusk. Seriously, the, the alien, do you think aliens helped? build the pyramids and there, there's a, um, that's gonna roll into something else with dinosaurs i want to ask you about it's um, really crazy no no no. it like okay bro so because they they have scientifically proven that those those bricks there's like a couple million bricks there they said that there is not any type of hoisting mechanism they could have stones built. not bricks they're fucking bricks dude stones not bricks either way dude you talked about rubbing a shaft anyways <laughs> so they said there's no hoisting system that they put together that they could have handled Moving those those stones up to the top. Well, no. Okay, so like logically thinking, right? For as prehistoric as those were, I could think, right? If you're cutting these out of a quarry and you had logs that were big enough, which wasn't unheard of back then in ancient times, you had yeah. long ships, long houses, whatever. I it's think that hard, a, though, a bro, rolling mechanism. The Where's where are the trees at, bro? That's the thing, though. Is Egypt used to be an oasis? Mm-hmm. Look. Shout out to Ubisoft's creative team with Assassin's Creed Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla, right? Okay, first of all, you skipped one of the best Far Cry games. I'm talking about Assassin's Creed, not Far Cry, yeah, bro. Yeah, but Ubisoft made Far Cry. Yeah, look, shout out to Far Cry 3. The, the, no. The, don't say Primal. Primal? Don't say Primal. That's a great game. I wouldn't say great. It it's was a, great. It was based in Europe. I it, loved it. It was a good idea gone decent. I'm saying, though. It was a great idea gone amazing. Their historic Spider Man. <laughs> Just kidding. Spider Man was immaculate. Finished it, by the way. Loved it. Try it out. You guys can play it. But no, dude, how do you feel like aliens helped build it? No, nah, bro. This is what I was saying. Shout out to the historical teams, bro. Is there have always been signs of the desert that we know in Egypt used to be an oasis. They took the time on Origins to go ahead and look at like the actual site, the desert, everything there where water used to be. And that's how they okay, rebuilt the game. I understand that's that. where the trees came from, bro. That's, I understand all that. I'm asking you. So you feel like humans did that. I, I'm saying, look, if we take it step by that's step, my question, do you think there's any other involvement such as aliens or anything that helped build those pyramids? If we take it step by step, bro, if you're cutting those stones out of a quarry and you got, you're the, avoiding the question. No, no, no. I'm getting there. Yeah, bro. You can't just, open up a thing of Legos and suddenly have a tower when you open it. No. Where's the fun in building the damn thing? What are you talking about? You just stack them. That's a tower. <laughs> Fucking crazy. I'm getting there. I'm saying. All right, go ahead. Rolling those stones there, that's logical. You could get the logs. Rolling them there, yes. I 100% agree they could do that. But then the problem becomes stacking them. Those stones were so big there was no way to get them up there, bro. So I definitely... And you know what's crazy is there's even hieroglyphics showing... Like other things beings. in the sky. There's another thing I want to tell you about. beings and stuff, bro. I, I want to tell you about that. So, first, give me your answer. So, you feel like there's a potential chance that a, a, another life form, such as aliens, helped do that? For sure, bro. Like, with as big as the universe is, there's... I believe in aliens more than I believe in ghosts, bro. Like, logically speaking, that's that's a possibility. So, it's, it's crazy. So, get this. Do you know the word... Do you think that dinosaurs were around when humans were around? Oh, for sure. I definitely think that there's a chance humans were around and di- at the well, same time. Well, of course, as but Neanderthals, I get that. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, like, around the Egyptian times, the dinosaurs were around, like back then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think every dinosaur was wiped out at that time, bro. Well, well check this out. How long has the? Uh, I seen this somewhere. How long has the Greek language been around? Greek or Roman? It's been around five thousand years. Yeah, it's been around about five thousand years. Doesn't seem that long, but it's pretty long. Feels like a million. Did you know dinosaur is a Greek word for um? I think it said I think it was dumb lizard. But yeah, 
So, so here's the thing is either A, dinosaurs were around a lot longer than we thought, or B, that Eng- that language was around a lot longer than we thought. Well, you got to think. I forgot. It's one of the ASIC periods because there's the Jurassic, the something else, whatever. But it was one, it's the 10 million year period of mm-hmm. when we thought dinosaurs were wiped out. And then the, like the ice age time. and then like the world was building itself basically. That's where Titanoboa came from. That's where I guess crocodile shrank down, alligator shrank down. But like, bro, I don't think that every single dinosaur was wiped out. Like, there was definitely some that were existing, and maybe they weren't the colossal size that they were even then. But you got to think, bro. Look at the brain canal on a T Rex in Natural History Museum in New York. Like. It's not that large. Those animals were not smart. The smart ones, if you look at their brain canals and, like, where their brains were held, them shits were big because it's like, okay, these were the more intelligible animals, bro. And it's usually something that I found interesting, not so much really, was it's the... uh, It says fuck science. I mean, hold on now. Not entirely. Some science. Space science, I'm there for. Elon Chan. (laughs) <laughs> Get us back into space, please, our Lord and Savior. Um, but disrespecting yeah, you for the cars. Speaking of which, back to aliens really fast. Do you know there's? A, do you know that they believe there's a uh, multiple race of aliens? There's like a lizard. Oh, they, for sure. They call them small grays and tall whites. That's a little segregatory. <laughs> Did I just I invent s- a new word? Segregatory, I think so. But no, seriously, you could Google it. You can look it up. There is a alien race called the tall whites. I mean, I guarantee you they're amazing at basketball. They def mm, shout out to Larry Bird. Um, they so definitely tall white. They mm, for sure. What about a flat white? I heard that's tall not, whites only. No, I mm, hold on. Yeah, now. as you're looking for that one. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> uh, no, aliens. They, they definitely stole that from DC Comics though. Martian Manhunter. Uh, he was a green alien, and then the evil aliens, like his niece that he took in, Miss Martian. She's a she's a white Martian. And well, no, 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 no. I'm being for like they call like okay. So you got your typical alien that's like what you see on TV, the green and gray ones. Those are called the, the grays or whatever. And there's a, I guess there's a, a being type thing that's claimed to be a tall white, like blurry figure. They call them tall whites. Shout and I just out. felt like you know that, that was extremely racist of them to do. No, nah, shout out to the American people back in like what was that? I was like 2017. Call when, them tall blurs. Nah, what? Sure. <laughs> um. When we all tried storming Area 51 and, like, only five people showed up. Not eight. Do you actually think, though, this is, like, the real thing, all right? If I don't show up on the next episode, the government got me. Do you think that any time there's a serious issue, like, with the government or, like, people are getting to question things a little too much, maybe the one, Neo, Keanu, we know you actually have superpowers, rose up and actually beat the Matrix that there's always some random news story that's made, like, worldwide headlines to distract the people, bro. Of course. Like, don't you think it was a little weird when a few months ago there was something going on with, like, the government, and then all of a sudden, oh, we've released new alien documents of proof of life or whatever, and it's like... All of a sudden, and then now all of a sudden there's a huge attack on Israel and all that. Like, it's always something. That's because, bro, I'm, I'm telling you, like, listen, bro. But there's just some things you can't hide. For sure. Like, micropenis? One way or another, Oh, you bro. can hide that. Not really. No, you can because it just goes in your stomach. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> bro! Did you? I saw this thing. Shout out to my boy Nathan. Sorry, buddy. No, nah, did, did, I saw this thing where it was like you could gain like a billion dollars, but your dick is like two inches, and then it's like that's a win-win for me. I get a billion dollars and an inch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. Yo, have you ever had a situation where somebody goes, they explain something to you? And in the middle of explaining it, it's extremely offensive to whatever it is you're doing, right? Oh, yeah. But then they proceed to tell you, now, hold on. Before you get offended, let me explain. Because they know what they just said was extremely (laughs) offensive. They had already had a rebuttal conversation with themselves that I know what I said was offensive, so I'm going to have a a backup conversation to explain why it wasn't offensive. And they see you're getting pissed off. I hate that. But, like, just like how you said when they see you're getting pissed off, I hate that when, like, people... They say something and it's like it's meant to be hurtful, bro. Like relationship, friendship stuff, or like or family. Mm-hmm. Like they say something and they meant it, but it's like, 
oh, no, 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 no. I wasn't saying it like that. No, I was just joking with you. You got to look at it from this. Like, bro, you say, say you what you said. You said it to be rude. Say what you said. Say it with your chest. Own it. Yeah, you said there. I don't think you're standing on business. Let's forget to tell him. <laughs> I don't think you're standing on business. <laughs> oh, bro. This is hilarious. Yo, do you. Question for all the guys out there. You ever just like. Like mid shower or like mid thought when like you take a bite out of like a breakfast sandwich or something, or like you're eating dinner and then all of a sudden you just like, what happens if Skynet actually existed? Like, would I be on the front lines fighting the Terminators? Like, like just the most random thought, bro. Like, what would happen if a T eight hundred kicked your door and right now? What are you doing? Like, bro, that's the kind of thoughts we have. No, I'm a yo. You paying bills to kick in the door like that? You gonna buy me a new one? If you're in a Spanish home, expect that response. You oh. didn't mop these floors. Guess what you're gonna get, especially if it's the, the mom, the your mom. Oh, bro, guarantee that's what she's gonna say, bro. If if like liquid dude, the T one thousand, if he, if he did that, bro, I know for sure, my mom's pulling out old faithful. She going la chancleta right to the head, bro. I just know it's gonna happen. Dude, it's gonna get stuck in his head, and then watch. They give it the next scene. He's mopping that floor. Oh no, bro! Next scene, you you gonna hear my mom in the background. Bet that carajo, cabrón! And it's just whoa. I don't like, even know what you said, but I would clean if you told me that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, nah, bro. I got, I just, just, I got this. See, we're 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 a little bit updated. We got we we don't got the mop and uh, fabuloso no more. Mm -hmm. It's the we 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 got the. Swiffer. I use the DG brand. Now nah, we got the Swiffer sweeper. You just press a little button and and you just start going. Yo, what is wrong? Some of you girls out there that get upset. I'm a guy. I don't like to clean. I'll be honest. I will. If it's necessary, I will clean. I've gotten better at it. But no, what no, is no. wrong with having a shark robot sweep the floor for you if I don't sweep it myself? Okay, no, 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 bro. Perfect thing. Working in Amazon, bro. When, like, okay, so, like, some of the stations with the tables, all the stations have, like, brooms and stuff, bro. If when my station's a mess, I'm not cleaning it until 4:20 at stand down when we got to start course. cleaning, bro. Like the last 10 minutes, yeah, is that we could pretend to be cleaning and like, leave. Like, bro, like if I got boxes and everything else, like yeah, sure, I'm gonna go clean it up, whatever. But like, I'm not cleaning mid shift. I've noticed a lot of the female workers, bro. Like if there's no cages to continue doing work or like there's nothing coming down the lines, bro, they'll take the broom and keep sweeping. I'm like, what are you doing? You're overworking yourself. I don't want it to be a mess. I'm like, it's not a mess, bro. I'd be like, well, this is what I say to them. You ready? I don't want it to be a mess. Well, it looks good for my house. I don't I don't know if that one would... Um, I don't, okay, see, I can't really say much. I can't act like I'm a clean... I used to be a clean person. I used to, bro. Well, no. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because when I go home, I ain't going to see this shit anyways. Exactly. <laughs> so it looks good for my house. But like... I don't, bro, I hate washing clothes. Like, having dishwashing jobs in the past, bro, I, I'll i wash dishes all day long. Like, I, have a, I, I don't mind washing clothes. I have a bad habit of folding my clothes. No, Okay, see, that's me. That's, that's me. That's the worst part. I don't mind throwing my clothes in the washer, getting a nice little scrub-a-dub-dub -dub going on with my clothes. It's the it's the folding I'm after. And you got to sit there and put it away. Rub-a-dub-dub. -dub, scrub like in the tub. Slim Yay, God. <laughs> what? <laughs> bro, that thing from Family Guy, man. <laughs> Which part? You got to explain that a little bit. It was uh now it's not funny if you explain it, you know that, right? Yeah, I know. So you might as well just stop right there. What but explain it, go ahead. I'm curious now. It was the scene where uh they had like some lady. Walrus or some... falling, go, hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Big Tusk in the chat. Oh bro. He's standing on business. You know what we need to do, bro? I got him. Now nah, hold hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's analyze this real quick. Go ahead, let's hear it. First of all, why is it like a, a whale falling instead of a uh, walrus? No. Nah. I almost called it a seal. No. Nah. They're the same thing. Did, did you see how none of his homies there they even, didn't went, even bat an eye. They didn't even go to check on him? First of all, none of them down there like, yo, don't jump. First they, of all, who let them climb that high? They, they, they none of them thought to say, hey, don't climb that high, you're going to fall. Bro, they didn't try stopping. <laughs> like, they didn't try doing nothing, bro. They just, you got this. You got it, bro. I ain't going to hold you. Like, you could hold that thing coming down there, bro. And then on top of that. Oh, pause. I realize how that sounded coming out. <laughs> False. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah, no walruses, all of them down there. They were fake, You know what's bro. crazy? You know, you know a lot of... Dude, there is a no loyalty in the animal community. No. They beat the hell out of each other. All the time. You could be talking to your homeboy, and he'll just turn around and sneak you. 
Bro. Over a girl. Bro, that's... Bro, I feel like that's only a modern day thing, bro. Like, what? The yeah. animals just modern day started doing it? No, 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 no. I was talking about, like, humans. Um, Because Animal Kingdom, bro, yeah. You could literally be Mufasa, and then all of a sudden, Scar's coming over like, uh-uh. That's your brother. Nala, she was supposed to be mine. Them lion cheeks. <laughs> that prime African meat. That was mine. All the things that you see, I own. Not you. You know what you own? Nothing. You're gone. <laughs> so said, get off my rock. <laughs> hey, bro. My nephew is my son now. I own this. What do you own? Nada. Nala. Gone. Oh, Nala. shit. Nala. Yo, bars. <laughs> slim, slim, whatever the fuck your name is. <laughs> slim Denim, bro. Slim Denim. That's a, that, that's a fire name. I mean. That's a construct. Kind of, kind of, kind of. construct. Um. But nah, bro. I was. I, I. I think that's only like a. Yeah, Animal Kingdom. Obviously, it's just animal mentality. When there's one alpha, another alpha. Shout out to Kong Godzilla, Godzilla's goat. Um, oh my god. You gotta. You gotta go alpha for alpha, right? Ooh. But like. No, I hate you. <sighs> it's okay, man. Your Kong should not have lost that fight, bro. Like, here's my thing. If you watch Kong Skull Island, all right. You watch Kong Skull Island, and then you see how he fights, and Godzilla versus Kong. He's a completely different character. He is a UFC fighter in one, and then he just walks around like a dummy. The other one, like clueless. Basically, the fall of Conor McGregor. Um, hey, he's coming back. I want to see him in person, by the way. That's if it happens. Um, dude's like hard to get to. All right, real quick before we got to get to wrapping this up. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking, right? What if, just what if, you've never seen me and Batman in the same place at the same time? That's a good question. I've never seen. I've never seen you. Ooh. I've never seen you and Liu Kang in the same room at the Ooh. same time. You never know, man. I could be Asian. Come out with the flame kicks. I could. Son of fire. The, the dragon warrior. <laughs> Pretty much. So, before we wrap this up, let's do it. You know, start a second. <clears throat> Good old something to think about. Something to think about. Something to think about. Go you let ahead. it all muster sitting on the toilet. Something to think about. You go first, man. I went first last I'm gonna time. Go first. Okay, so oh, yeah, mine's, bro. mine's more of a theory. Do you think, because we were speaking about animals and stuff being like, you know, extinct and not extinct and aliens. Do you think somewhere in Antarctica, under all that ice, there is, because I don't know if I, megalodons are still alive or not. Do you think somewhere under all that ice... It is possible that there is a frozen either megalodon or type of colossal animal we have never seen before. For sure. Something to think about. That is something to think about. You want to know what else is something to think about? Let's hear it. Why is it that we put on pants first and not our shirts and we just tallywhack for a couple of seconds when we're getting ready for the day? Something to think about. Exactly. Bonus round, something to think about. <laughs> Did you know that Tarzan is actually the brother to Anna and Elsa? Think about it. Parents went out in the jungle or went on the boat. Boat wreck, never got confirmed whether they're dead. Tarzan's parents, boat wreck, but they're in the jungle. Something, something to think about. Something to think about right there. Something to think about. Before we close out, before Tarzan met Jane, was he a virgin or beaten gorilla cheeks? Something to think about. Or leopard cheeks, who knows? Hey, man, listen, we'll catch y'all guys next week. Thank you for being here, episode two. Enjoy right, y'all's week, First of all, man. let's get a round of applause, episode two. What are we? The Mad, Mad Pair, Pair Podcast. Podcast. Thank you.